Half-Life 2, a game that has a massive fan base even after two decades after its launch, just improved its visuals with a mod created by Igor. This was created with the help of Nvidia's RTX Remix Update 2, which took the game's graphics to a completely new level where every light and shadow looks super realistic while retaining its dynamic functionality. What if you could do this with almost every classic old title that you used to play in your childhood? What if you could have the next level ray traced lighting and shadows just like Nvidia recently showed in Cyberpunk? Even though it sounds a bit unrealistic, but this is coming true. Thanks to Nvidia's RTX Remix, which just got open source for game developers and modders. Let's see how it will affect the decade old titles, but before that, make sure to subscribe to never miss any latest stories like this in the future. According to the latest press release, Nvidia created RTX Remix as a part of Nvidia Studio Suite that brings two components to enable path tracing in almost every imaginable classic title. The first one is the RTX Remix Creator Toolkit, which will help developers and modders create new assets and light sources within the remastered editions. And the second one is the custom RTX Remix Runtime that can replace assets at playback and can inject path tracing, DLSS3 as well as reflex into the games. This was the exact thing that helped modders include path tracing into RTX Portal. But now anyone who wants to remaster their favorite games will have access to this new tool through GitHub which is hosting the RTX Remix source code. Furthermore, Nvidia will accept pull requests for code submissions from the modders community to provide feedback and will also help them in remastering their games with path tracing before they can be merged into the official RTX Remix runtime. This means that gamers won't necessarily need to wait for several years before their favorite games are remastered by the original game developers because we have pretty decent modders around the globe who can do even a better job. Although running path traced games will require an RTX 40 series GPU, at least something is better than nothing. Considering that path tracing is too hard on high-end GPUs, it makes sense to have this technology work only with the best GPUs right now. I'm personally excited to see what games will be the first ones to get officially remastered through this and I would love to see if someone remasters the Prince of Persia trilogy. But of course, any classic title is a big welcome. Now if you think this is the only thing Nvidia is currently offering to its users, you might not have heard of a recent surprise for those who own an RTX 30 or 40 series GPU. According to the same publication where Nvidia introduced the RTX Remix, Nvidia also added that the VLC player is now going to support the RTX Video Super Resolution which was only available for a few browsers. The newest VLC version 3.0.19 RTX Vetinari is now equipped with RTX VSR that will activate super resolution upscaling by Nvidia. This means that not only you can now upscale videos online, but your favorite downloaded movies can also be upscaled with this newest VLC player. As VLC is one of the very few media players that are capable of running almost any type of video format, this one is definitely a great addition from Nvidia. But in case you don't use VLC, you can use the MPC video player and add the Mad VR mod to enable RTX VSR for your videos. I have talked about it in one of my previous videos because it is even better than the standard VSR upscaling on the browser and many users still prefer MPC or VLC media player. And lastly, we just got a leak on one of the future AMD micro architectures, namely Zen 6. While we still await the release of Zen 5 CPUs the next year, leaks on the Zen 6 architecture is already in the talks. According to this new leak, AMD has already started working on Zen 6, which is codenamed Morpheus. This screenshot was taken from a LinkedIn profile of one of AMD's engineers who is currently working on Zen architecture. Unfortunately, the information has now been removed from that page, but we still have the snapshot. As you can see, the Zen 5 is codenamed Nirmana and AMD has supposedly finished the base work for this architecture. It says that Zen 5 will be based on a 3 nanometer process node, which is exactly what AMD showed in its roadmap. If we move on to Zen 6, it says that it will be based on even a smaller 2 nanometer process node, which means that we are going to see better power efficiency. While there isn't much info except for that, what we can assume is that just as Zen 4 and Zen 5 are available in 3 flavors, we might see a hybrid architecture on the future APUs with Zen 5C and Zen 6, just like AMD is going to release Strix Point with Zen 5 and Zen 4C architectures. Zen 6 CPUs won't be released before 2026 and I hope that AMD releases these CPUs on AM5 platform so that the first adopters of this platform can easily upgrade to a better and faster CPU in that year. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments. Also let me know what game you would like to see getting remastered with path tracing. Hit the like button if you found the video informative and subscribe for more latest stories like this. Also make sure to turn on the notifications to never miss any latest uploads to the channel and I will see you in the next one.